Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Dre Lasso here again with more info, news, and crypto wisdom for your head top. So yes, today we are going to talk about GBTC and the outflows. So what is GBTC? What does the outflows mean and how is it affecting the crypto market? So all eyes are on GBTC, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, following the approval of its ETF, resulting in a hefty two billion dollars worth of the original etf being offloaded now grayscale bitcoin trust is a pioneering bitcoin investment vehicle passively investing in bitcoin lets investors tap into bitcoin's potential without grappling with the complexities of direct btc acquisition because it can get hard to store your crypto safe keep your crypto People don't really know the ins and outs of the nuances of a wallet or a seed phrase and your wallet address, the private address, public address, so on and so forth. So BTC BTC acquisition, storage and safekeeping during the U.S. market opening. Significant amounts of BTC are routinely transferred to Coinbase Prime deposits by Grayscale, likely signifying GBTC redemptions, right? Now, since the SEC, since the SEC greenlit its conversion and listing as a spot Bitcoin ETF, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust has experienced substantial outflows. So, as I was saying, GBTC was around before the spot Bitcoin ETF. It's a trust that invests in Bitcoin. Grayscale has other trusts. They have some with Ethereum. They got one with Chainlink, so on and so forth. Now, they went at it with the SEC, went back and forth with the SEC, and ultimately they won. They were able to convert their trust, that stock that you could buy, now being able to convert into an ETF, right? Now, because of that, there's been tons of outflows, right? So they have experienced substantial outflows plunging its Bitcoin stash. So their stash is pretty much is pretty much decreasing. Recent data from Bloomberg Intelligence reveals a net outflow of 515 million on Tuesday alone, just on Tuesday, contributing to nearly 4 billion total outflow since its ETF conversion on January 11th. And the month is not done yet. In a single day, a massive 19,236 Bitcoin were withdrawn from GBTC's ETFs with 800 and with 8,800 BTC deposited to certain key players. So these key players include BlackRock, Fidelity, um, as well as the other guys. But check this out. So 19,000 and change was withdrawn and only 8,800 was deposited, right? So that's the, the dynamics right now that's going on. So GBTC was leading by a landslide because of his conversion it was leading by a landslide because they had tons of people already invested in it compared to his counterparts which would be fidelity blackrock bitwise invesco franklin templeton so on and so forth but because their bitcoin is being offloaded they're kind of losing that number one spot slowly now analysts interpret gbtc's outflow slow down as positive so it slowed down recently the amount has been less day by day, right? Indicating investor resilience despite profit taking. So they're saying that Bitcoin is very resilient despite all the people that's taking profit. So let's transition to the wash trade rule. So selling GBTC, so selling GBTC may exempt you from purchasing ETFs for 30 days, a strategic tax move. Speculation arises about potential ETF inflows in the next month. So pretty much they're saying within the next month, the ETF inflows, money going into it should increase again because these people that are redeeming, you know, or offloading this GBTC, they want to get back in the game, but they have a 30 day window where they can't reinvest for tax purposes because they can't invest into like a similar identical product. Now, of course, investing in real Bitcoin, real BTC is a completely different story, an entirely different picture. It paints a whole different picture, right? You don't have to worry about this tax 
wash trade and rule or anything like that. You can send it when you want. You can purchase it anytime you want because it's 24 seven. So there's a difference in holding real Bitcoin. But of course, you have to be more responsible in that regard. However, going back to GBTC, the Grayscale Bitcoin Investment Trust is facing ongoing outflows, reducing its asset advantage over its competitors, even two weeks post the ETF conversion. Now, while analysts predict a prolonged reign as the largest spot Bitcoin ETF, the tide may shift as investors consider more cost effective options. These other options like Fidelity and BlackRock have cheaper fees, making it a better investment as far as cost is concerned. So GBTC does have something to worry about. And while this continues, the price of Bitcoin shall be fluctuating as well between like 39 and 49, in my opinion, and based off of the opinion of many other uh, analysts as well. Now, in recent buzzworthy developments, a whale alert noted substantial Bitcoin transfers over 900 million to Coinbase institutional from anonymous wallets wallets simultaneously GBTC records significant Bitcoin outflows marking a dynamic period in the crypto landscape so that's the latest on the GBTC news it's interesting and it's a whole new world for Bitcoin we are now in the big leagues many more eyes are on this particular asset so this should be a fun ride, especially leading up to the halving that's supposed to be coming in April. February is known to be a very good month for Bitcoin. Most of the time, the month is green. Over the years, there's only been like two years where February was a bad month. So February is supposed to be a good month. We're anticipating a, a nice little dip in March before April. And then we're off to the moon, off to the stars and above and beyond. And hopefully we can all make some life-changing gains. That would be dope. But yo, that's all I got for this one. Over and out. It's your boy Jay Lasso. Tap in for more. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Share. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And tune in for the next one.